But look at this. This is off a battleship. We don't know what it is. It says what it is, but I have no idea. But it weighs a like, bajillion pounds. Oh don't tip it over. You, you freaking me out. <laughs> Did you see it? We I grabbed it. We like, like just antiqued for like two hours. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome to the vlog, welcome to the day. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with us today. It's a Saturday while we're filming, so we're all just gonna be doing a whole bunch of different things today. I've already been to the store and got a whole bunch of groceries and got everything put away. And now when the kids open the pantry and say there's no food, I can say, yes there is. <laughs> Dad and Miley, Dad and Miley, Dad and Hallie are gonna go off and do their, their own thing today and got a fun activity as a family this evening. So, be looking forward to that. Welcome to the day everybody. Hey, you guys. We're at the antique shop, so it's Saturday. So me and Hallie, Hallie is very motivated to get the yard decorated Halloween. For Halloween. It's the end of August, not September yet. Yeah. And we're trying to gather pirate stuff for the front yard. We have a giant antique mall right here by our house, so we can come find junk. It's good stuff. I love these old fans. They're so cool. But they're always expensive. That's $50. Oh, I want this for my tiki room display. That's pretty awesome. Look, it's a gold rhino from that one Indiana Jones show you didn't see. <laughs> Holy cow, this thing, I just picked like it up. Slowly. It is so heavy. I don't know why this reminds me of Indiana Jones, because he's always fighting the Nazis. I don't know. Okay. Reminds no, me like, of the I don't know. Let it go. Oh, I can't dear. see. Yeah, it's like made of lead. It's like Indiana Jones, like when he gets to the, to the desert. <laughs> Pretty sure it's out of time. I love cool old projectors and cameras and stuff. I love old projectors. They're so cool. I found two more projectors. It's out over here. Oh, they're awesome. Ellie is filling her hands with stuff. We've got lanterns and boxes and bottles. <laughs> okay, we're outside now. We found a cool chest, a bunch of other things. But look at this. This is off a battleship. We don't know what it is. It says what it is, but I have no idea. But it weighs a like bajillion a pounds. Oh don't tip it over. You, you freaking me out. <laughs> How much can you lift, face. Daddy? Like on average? Uh, average not that much. That thing is freaking solid. Like, what's too. Your, what's your top? I don't know. You don't know? I don't want to say. Okay, I'll tell you the camera. <laughs> I want to figure out how. Dude, that thing is heavy. What does it say that it is? It says it's a battleship artillery ship. Ooh, heavy. Okay, so we did find another big thing that won't even fit in the Bronco, so we're gonna have to come back in either the van or the truck. So, did you see it? We I grabbed it. We I like it just antiqued for like two hours. <laughs> I didn't buy anything, I'm but so it's hot. Bad. See my red face walking so around outside? I bought nothing. She bought a handful of stuff and then she went back for more. So, where we're we gonna put it? I don't know. Now we're gonna go grab a burger. We're hungry. Uh, we came, we ordered, we conquered. Now we're just relaxing for a minute, letting it settle. Before we head home. And then we come right back up again. Okay, we finished our lunch, but I'll show you something. And I don't know how old you guys are, but when I was a kid, when I was a kid, you go get a bunch of penny candy and a bunch really cheap, and they were smaller back when I was little. Look at that. It's a Chico stick. I have no idea what they are, but they I remember them from when I was little and I saw they had them here for like 39 cents, so I got one. They're delicious. We'll make Hallie try it. Okay, she's gonna try it right now. I, I remembered what it is, what it's like. It's kind of like, yeah, it's like delicious. It's gonna crumb all over the place. It's like the inside of a Butterfinger, right? Ooh. Isn't it like the inside of a Butterfinger? It's like peanut butter and crumb. Oh, it's crumbing all over. Right there in your lap in the middle. Hmm? Right. <laughs> By your seatbelt. It tastes like what? It kind of tastes like peanut butter and caramel. Oh, yeah. Uh, but childhood memories. Weird caramel. Chico sticks. We'd walk up town and get Chico sticks and penny oh. candies, sour patch kids. Really good. Fresh peanut rolled and toasted coconut. That's what I'm tasting. Is that what it's it is? Not, it's not caramel. It's, it's just peanut? chewy coconut. Oh. Yeah, peanut with coconut. I didn't even know what it was made of, but I know it was delicious. Me and Dad got back from the antique store. <laughs> My allergies make me look like I'm sad. I'm not sad, I'm actually super excited. So, we got 
I got this little vase. It's like a little oil vase. Thought that would look cool with a bunch of like coins and stuff. And then I got a nice rum bottle. I don't know. We might use it for a special project. We'll let you guys know. And then I found this little chest and it opens super cool. I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so this chest. I was like, okay, cool, it's like a mini pirate's chest, but look, you guys are probably aren't like super amazed by this, but I was blown away because you pull on this and it opens. It takes a second, but look, this goes back, so it has two compartments. I thought that was pretty cool, and then you stick it in, and it's like, what? And outside, I have, whoop, here we go. I'm in the garage right now because I bought a lantern and I have decided to spray paint it because it is just a classic silver. I already took the glass out. I put tape over the light on the inside. It's just like a basic silver lantern and it has, it's battery operated. It takes D batteries, we only have one, which I was kind of bummed about because I wanted to see if it actually worked. But I'm gonna spray paint that right now. And then, oh yes, I forgot to show you, I got the chest that I was talking to you guys about. All the other chests that I saw that were like moderately okay to be used were like $200. So I was not gonna pay that much. My goodness, sorry, my allergies. Woof. But I found this one for $15 because it's so banged up that they were gonna sell it for parts. The AC's kind of loud, but the big reveal. Oh, snap. So this is an old uh, marine trunk. You can see that it says marking something M. I think it's from the Marines, I don't know. It's definitely, definitely looks like an army trunk, but yeah, so it's all rusted and beaten up, which I love. And then we're trying to get it open. That one's broken, that, uh, oh, I forgot the word. Um, that thing, whatever that is, is broken. And then this one, we think is rusted shut, because that's the one that won't let us open it all the way. This one is just fine, look. I can lift this side as much as I want. You can see in there. But this side is just rusted shut. So we're gonna figure that out. But yeah, so there's my pirate's chest that I'm gonna be projecting and experimenting on in the next while. So we're gonna go back to the lantern so I can get that painted. But once we get that, that figured out. Then we're gonna spray it with some uh, spider and bug killer because it was just, it's covered in cobwebs and so I don't wanna be painting and then find a black widow on my arm or something, so. Yep, so that's another project, so let's go back to the lantern. All right, I just remembered some of you might need a little bit of an explanation. I don't know if we already told you about this or not, but, so I had this random idea literally last night to have our like, it's the middle of August also, but I had an idea that we could do a Halloween trick or treat spot on our porch, but it's like a pirate's cove, if that makes sense. I'm gonna try to figure out how to put sand. So we're gonna like, I don't know, I'm thinking of like a cardboard as a base cut out into a weird shape and then foam and then putting sand over that, but that's a completely different project. Oh, so many projects. I'm happy we're starting in August actually. Yeah, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna have like pirate music playing. We might trying to convince dad to project this really cool Pirates of the Caribbean skull that we found on YouTube onto the onto the garage, but I'm trying to figure out how to like lift the garage up, have it open, but have like a clear projector sheet. So they'll just be seeing that projection, but there won't be like the weird textures of the gar of the garbage, the garage door. So early Halloween projects, lots of them, lots of them. I have a big, ugh, I'm kind of scared because I have a really big idea for this and I'm really hoping it turns out, but we'll see how it goes. Cross my fingers. Yeah, so we're gonna get the lantern figured out. With the lantern, there's this little thing on top and I don't want to spray paint with that on there like that or else it's gonna leave that part blank. So I'm thinking of setting it up and just tying a string that goes up to this table and like pinning it over under something. And then this was going on right there, but I took it off because I thought that was a good idea. 
but I might just do the same thing I'm doing with this and just put this one back on. So we'll see. And then, yeah, so I'll probably put that back on really fast. And then I'll tie these up, uh, connect them to the table, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so first, before we even start spray painting, we're gonna put some petroleum jelly in spots where I want it to flake. Cause this is already silver, so it'll look like when the, it'll look like the paint's chipping off and that it's just straight metal on the inside. So I'm gonna do that really fast. Okay, so I've got it all petroleum jellied in places that I want. You can see it like right there, over there, and over there, on that side, down there. I just want it everywhere so that it's just, it just looks like it's been used for many, 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 many years. So now I'm going to tie this up onto the table so it'll stay straight while I'm spray painting. Alright, so it's been painted. Handles and everything. I just gotta wait for it to dry. I'm kind of scared because there's a button right there and I forgot to tape it over. So now we gotta wait for that to dry and then we can take the, uh, the jelly off. Let's see what it looks like. Hey Miley. Dad's starting fires. Uh, since we have chickens in our backyard, uh, I'm doing this on the front porch because I don't know how to do it uh, any other out. So we made double, double metal. And I'm getting the briquettes ready because we have a Dutch oven cook off coming tonight. Woo! Okay, while the coals are heating up, here's the secret the good bits cobbler recipe for generations. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Just kidding. It's like a quart of peaches, and then all you do is you dump cake mix on top, sprinkle it around, try to make it even ish. Whoa. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. I'll spread it out. There we go, like that. And you just spread it out and poke it. It actually is super delicious. We got like a cowboy Dutch oven. So you poke it a little bit, not a ton, just a little bit. And then what you'll do is you actually take a whole cube of butter and you'll just chop it into slices and put them all over on the top of this. And then you put it in Dutch oven for like 30 minutes. And it will be delicious. But, uh, just like slabs of butter all over the top of it like this. While dad's making the um, tried and true recipe of peach cobbler, I am making a tried and true recipe of Dutch oven lasagna. I'm just using my crocs that I make my sourdough bread in. I'm just layering the lasagna in the white one. This is super, super good. It's really, really good when you're camping in the actual Dutch oven with like the briquettes and everything. But we'll just do it in the oven today. It's really, really, really good. Briquettes are not quite ready, but they're smelling like barbecue. I don't think these briquettes are gonna get them all the way cooked, so I started some more. Okay, here we go. This is what it's looking like. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're at the Dutch oven cook-off. It's just getting started. Here, we'll go look at all the foods. We'll open all the lids, but check the Dutch oven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Food, my pretty good. Huh? <laughs> She's loving it. <laughs> my plate was mounted for the food idea. The second plate. This had a sampling of like everything that was in there. And so far, everything is delicious. So good. Ooh, the lighting's good. Is the it? light behind you. <laughs> okay, uh, we're about to start a chicken race. All the six-year-olds and under, here, please. They're gonna chase the chickens. <laughs> Six and unders are gonna chase the chickens first. Oh, they're gonna get out. Oh, oh, oh. Did they escape the circle? Oh, there's no chickens. <laughs> 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 
Oh, he caught one right here. Ready, go! Mine, 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 Oh, geez, they're already going. Chasing more chickens. Oh, chickens are free. Chickens are free. Oh, no. I failed. The I did not. I did not do my job. I didn't do my job. The chicken got by us. I was filming. <laughs> Chicken cot, chicken cot. <laughs>